All right, kickoff for the 2019 South Dakota football season. Now just days away, hours away. We can get down to the hours point as Bob Nielsen joins me now for a preview of Saturday's season opener, which will take place right behind us here inside the Dakota Dome, which is still under renovation, Bob. And I think that's one of the, the hottest topics of the offseason is the fact that this place is going undergoing a, a much needed and long awaited uh, facelift. And that being said, it's going to be a pretty unique atmosphere in here on Saturday. Is that something that you could possibly have any kind of grasp on, even though you're, you've been out here practicing on the field already? Well, the field's going to be the field. Uh, you know, that part of it's not going to change. What's going to be interesting is having fans just on one side. Yeah. And, uh, um, you know, our fans are going to get a chance to look at the progress of the, of the Dome uh, renovation project as the season moves on. And... Uh, Great uh, ex excitement for what that uh, side's going to be like uh, when it opens, but uh, it's going to be a packed house. You know, people better get their tickets yeah. because every game's going to sell out. It's just a matter of how quickly it sells out. Yeah, with the way it's laid out, I mean, do you anticipate this being kind of that uh, maybe uh, more intense home field advantage just because it is so different than anything anybody else is going to see throughout the season? Well, it's always a little bit different when you go to places where you don't have any fans behind you. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, it creates for a little bit of a of a different environment. Uh, but I know this. You know, I know our fans will be loud. Uh, this is a building that gets loud, and whether they're on both sides or one side, uh, it'll still create a great uh, home field advantage for us. Well, certainly an exciting way to kick off the season. Montana coming in here, a team that just missed out on the playoffs last year, finished six and five, four and four in the Big Sky. Probably would have gone to the postseason had they been able to beat Montana State in their regular season finale. Uh, but, you know, one of the traditional powers of FCS football has fallen off a little bit the last few years. You know, that's probably not going to stay that way forever. And if you look at the schedule, you know, FCS wide week one, this is one of the bigger games. So what a huge measuring stick for you guys right out of the gate here. Yeah, you know, you look at a program like Montana and it represents part of our commitment to, to play the very best schedule that we can. You know, playing a uh, high level FCS opponent, a uh, opponent that probably has as great a tradition and history in FCS football as any program in the country uh, with a couple of national championships to their credit including one won by South Dakota alum Joe Glenn yeah. you know when he was there and um, they're uh, you know they're a really good football team they're always a really good football team they're extremely well coached uh, they're gonna have great players and it's gonna cause us and force us to be able or to have to play our very best best football to to be uh, uh, in the game and with a chance to win. Second year head coach Bobby Hawkins, second year of his second stint as yeah. Montana's head coach. And uh, he's coming in and, and still trying to work, you know, guys back into the program that are kind of that fit his style. So uh, under the previous regime, you know, it was kind of that more spread offense type attack. I think Bobby would like to run the football a little bit more. And so he's trying to establish that. But as you look on this at this team on film from what they did a year ago, what really stands out about them offensively? Well, they have a dual threat quarterback who's a really good player. Um, he actually led their team in rushing last year. Um, and uh, at the same time, you know, th throws the ball very well. Throws the ball on the move well. Uh, he's a guy that you have to account for. You have to account for, uh, you know, both as a runner in the running game and also have to account for in passing situations with his ability to scramble and, and create uh, uh, plays that way. Um, they've got a couple of uh, experienced uh, receivers uh, that have demonstrated big play capability. They're, they're a team that will take some shots down the field. Uh, and even though they want to run the ball first, um, you know, they'll, they'll, uh, they're, they're like us. If they can get you to play in one-on-one -on -one matchups, they're going to try to, to make a big play in the passing game uh, and get some easy yards. Now, we used that term measuring stick earlier just overall with this matchup just to see where you're at coming into the season, your first game right out of the gate. But uh, really, uh, again, going back to their offense and how dynamic it can be, great test for Travis Johansson and a great progress report for that uh, group too as, as they set out week one. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're playing a team that uh, when you look at them across the board, you know, they are... Um, and, and I know our fans have gotten used to big sky teams the last couple of years, but this, you know, this is, this is a team that's as good as the best teams in the Valley, without question, as good as the best teams in the country in FCS. And uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to really uh, force us to, 
to play our best football, which is what you have to do every week in the Valley. Sure. And uh, so to have those kind of games in your non-conference schedule is, is, uh, uh, is a great way to start. Getting anxious yet? <laughs> Game week uh, <laughs> always brings out butterflies, even after 27 years. Oh. And uh, really excited to open the homes, uh, open the season at home. It's not something we've been able to do the last few years, mm -hmm. and uh, to have that home opener, uh, you know, a chance to bring a really high-level team in. I hope our fans are excited because we sure are. Well, I'm excited. Two o'clock to kick off Saturday, USD and Montana inside the Dakota Dome. If you can't get here, or if you're too late on getting tickets for the game, fortunately, you can catch it on Midco Sports Network. Myself, Andre Fields, on the call along with Elena Lanson. Our coverage will start right at 2 o'clock Central Time.